Dear all, welcome to this tutorial. In just 14 minutes, you will see all the features you need to know to use the newest Krita 5, one of the best and free painting softwares for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Krita is one of the best free products to adjust images or make your own vector illustrations, making it one of the best alternatives to Adobe Photoshop. When you open it, you get a welcome screen with useful links to connect with the Krita community and to open your most recent documents on the left. Whereas, go to Open File to browse for any project or image and to New File to start from a new document. In this case, pick any ready template from the left or select Custom Document to set a custom orientation, width, height, and quality resolution starting from any standard template on predefined. At the bottom, set the color code and other advanced options. Switch to Content to apply a proper background color and transparency level, shown as a checkerboard area. As you click on Create, the new document opens on the main workspace under its own tab on top. Around the canvas, you get the main toolbar on top, several panels or dockers on both sides, and the status bar at the bottom. On the right, click on Workspaces to use another template, or use the options under the Settings tab to hide show other panels, change the color theme, or the overall style. The document canvas is the place where you work and draw. You can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel and hold down the spacebar key to pan around. If the document size is not correct, enable the crop tool and click and drag to make a grid. You can move the grid, resize it with its nodes, and then apply it by right-clicking and going to Crop. Let's understand the structure of any Krita document. This is the result of several independent layers combined together, each representing any image, your own drawings or advanced photo filters. You can check these from the Layers panel on the right. For example, new documents show a background layer representing your canvas and a vacant paint layer collecting your future drawings. If you open any image, these are the background layer you start from. Now let's see how to correct images. Krita collects loads of adjustment filters that you can apply by adding filter layers. On the left, select the correction you like most, adjusting its properties while checking the canvas preview. You can reopen these by right-clicking on any filter layer and going to Properties. Each filter layer applies a single correction, so add others if you want to apply further effects. The Layers panel is very useful to manage all the layers of your document. You can click on the eye to hide and show each layer to check the differences, and also click and drag any layer to change its position in the list, adjusting the order of visibility. In this case, you change the final correction on the image since each filter affects all the layers below it in the list. By default, these filters are applied on the whole image or canvas unless you use the selection tools in the bottom left corner. With these dashed selections, you can define limited regions of the image in order to apply filter corrections only within these. You can drop rectangular and elliptical regions by clicking and dragging on the canvas, polygonal ones by specifying each single vertex or any closed region freehand by clicking and dragging. Other selection tools allow you to click once to select all image parts that share the same color. To remove any selection made, press Ctrl plus Shift and A. 
to correct imperfections from the image, enable the Smart Patch tool and brush on it. Adjusting brush size on top and advanced options on the Tools options on the right. On the left, you also get several brush tools to make drawings on the image. Select its layer by clicking on Background, enable the tool interested, and click and drag on the image. These tools modify the image pixels permanently, losing the original details of the image. To avoid this, you can create a new paint layer above it so that you can select it and draw on its level, leaving the original image intact. Now let's see how to use these tools. You can draw regular lines, rectangles, and ellipses by clicking and dragging on the canvas. Enable the Polygon tool to make complex polygons by defining each vertex and the Polyline tool to drop an open shape by double-clicking on the last node. Whereas, enable the Freehand Brush tool or the Calligraphy tool and click and drag on the canvas to draw freehand. Switch to the Freehand Path tool to make smoother traces or the Dynamic Brush tool to make fast brushes. With Multi-Brush Tool, you can draw a symmetric brush by taking the center of the document as reference. Make sure to open the Tool Options to set Advanced Options if you need. If you make any mistake, use Ctrl or Command and Z to undo, or click on the Undo and Redo buttons in the top left corner. To change the brush color, Click on Foreground Color Selector on top or select any color from the Advanced Color Selector. You can also pick any canvas color by clicking on it while holding down the Control key. On top, set several brush properties such as its Blending Mode, Opacity, Size or Stroke Width, and Flow Level. You can also enable the Horizontal or the Vertical Mirror to make mirrored drawing around a proper axis that you can click and drag to move. Then verify the correct symmetry with Wraparound Mode. Enable the Eraser Mode to turn the current tool into an erasing brush that removes all the paint drawings made. Krita offers loads of brush styles collected under Brush Presets that also show up when you right-click on the canvas. Choose any pen, pencil, airbrush, eraser, or other styles with their own brush properties ready to use. For Tool Properties, remember to open the Tool Options panel. To make your own brush style, click on Edit Brush Settings. Check it out. Moreover, you can enable the Gradient tool and click and drag on the canvas to drop a cool linear gradient. Pay attention that this overrides the image or the paint layer you have selected, so make sure to drop the gradient on a new layer to manage it on its own. You can change the gradient shape from the Tool Options panel and the gradient appearance with Fill Gradients above. Here, each marker saves a proper color and opacity level so you can make a custom gradient by moving these markers and creating others. Whereas, enable the Fill tool to click within any area and fill it with the foreground color chosen. The selection tools just seen are very useful on images and paint drawings as well. For example, if you have any selection area and you enable any brush tool, this works only within such region. You can also cut, copy, and paste this area with Control or Command and X, C, and V. 
the pasted copy will belong to a completely new layer. With this operation, you can also cut and import a second image in front of another. With the Layers panel, you can manage all your drawings and images, hide or show any layer, change their order, and copy, paste, or remove any by right-clicking on it. Whereas, go to Layer Style to apply several effects on each drawing or image contour, such as shadows, glows, 3D effects, and overlays. To prevent modifications from any layer, enable the Lock button. Enable the Transform tool to manage layers directly on the canvas. Select any layer from the right and click and drag it to move. Drag from outside to rotate around the cross point and use its nodes to resize. You can also click and drag from the layer borders to skew horizontally or vertically. Check the tool options to find further transform options you can apply. For example, you can choose Liquify to drag the layer pixels. If you want to make drawings from scratch, you may have to work with vector layers. With respect to pixel layers and images, these never lose quality since their shape is defined by an algorithm and not by rendered pixels. To start drawing vectors, you just need to create a new vector layer and select it before going on with any brushing tool. This way, all your next drawings will be vectorized. All the brush tools seen work in the same way, only some of these don't work on vectors, such as the Smart Patch tool, the Eraser tools, and the Selections. whereas vector layers can be managed exactly like pixel layers. Indeed, two tools are specific to vector drawings. With the Select Shapes tool, you can select each single drawing within the current vector layer in order to move, resize, and rotate it as seen with the Transform tool applied on pixel drawings. You can also remove the drawing with Control or Command and X. From the tool options, you can adjust several properties for the shape, stroke, and fill. Apply any solid color, any linear or radial gradient, and set the stroke thickness, caps, line style, and endpoints as you like. Whereas, enable Edit Shapes tool to refine the shape through each single node composing its sides and curves. Just drag and move each node or curve and act on the tangent handles to adjust any curve as you like. You can also add new nodes by double-clicking on the path. Enable the SVG Text tool and click and drag to drop text in a new dialog, setting font family, style, size, color, and distribution. You can also customize the text shape by clicking on Edit Shapes tool and then on Convert to Path under Tool Options. Pay attention that you won't be able to edit its text properties any longer. To save and export your document, go to File, Save As. Choose KRA to save your CRITA document and reopen all your drawings and layers or several image formats like JPEG or PNG to render your whole document into an image. You can also export any vector layer as an SVG file by going to Layer, Import, Export, Save Vector Layer as SVG. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe and follow us not to lose our next free tutorials.